What have I learned in Benzo Withdraw? <laughs> well, I've learned that life is not fair. That no matter what we think and no matter what we do or how safe we think we are, life isn't fair. We can do everything right and somebody else can do everything wrong and there's no discrimination here. It, it's just life is not fair. I have also learned that everything that happened to me in my past, uh, every bad thing that I thought was bad, wasn't bad. <laughs> Nothing will ever compare to benzodiazepine withdrawal syndrome. And it, oftentimes this is, you know, this automatically everybody assumes like you were a drug addict and you sought these drugs on the street and this happened to you and that's the farthest thing from the truth because benzodiazepine withdrawal syndrome lasts for years and it happens, majority of it happens to prescribed patients like myself who went to a doctor, got told that we had an anxiety disorder or some other off-the-wall disorder that these medications aren't even prescribed for, like tinnitus or muscle pain or ringing in the ears, um, you know, and they were prescribed medication and they trusted their doctors and they took it exactly like prescribed and then this happened um, there's no other drug like it in the world none none every other drug that you come off you go through withdraw and you know it can be bad for a short time and when it's done it's done benzodiazepines are a whole different breed they're a whole different animal they cause itrogenic brain damage, which can last for years. And the suffering that comes with them is immeasurable. They steal everything. You know, this is happening all over the world to so many people everywhere. And you, you lose everything. You, you know, your home, your job, your, your financial security, your stability. Um, you lose the ability to drive a car, and you lose the ability to go out in public, um, you lose the ability to get yourself dressed some days, um, take care of yourself some days. Um, I can't tell you through this process how many days I was so sick that I had to crawl, crawl to the bathroom, crawl to my kitchen, you know, crawl to a phone. It's, you know, I'm in such medical debt because during all of this, I had been to the hospital so many times and seen so many doctors and, you know, no one ever would say that this was related to the benzos. So all of those visits thinking that I was absolutely losing my mind because I went from being self-sufficient and being able to take care of myself to being in horrific pain. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and unable to hold food down, so sick that I honestly thought I had a cancer or some terminal illness that I, that they were missing and that I was going to die from. And, you know, you just keep racking up these hospital bills because no one will say it's this medication that you're on that is literally making you sick. You have brain, your brain is damaged. Your, your brain is essentially damaged from these medications and the way that this drug works and what it controls in your body, you no longer have those chemicals in your brain. They are downregulated and everything and everything that that chemical in your brain affects is, is not working. It's, it's shut down. Your digestion, your breathing, your heart rate, your body temperature regulation, everything. Your, your pain sensory, you know, it, the horrific pain that you can have in your body from this is, you know, I had a child <laughs> with no epidural, almost a nine pound baby, and, you know, you think that you know pain, and, you know, I've had an esophageal, you know, almost tear, full tear, which, you know, is classified right up there with kidney stones and only worse because at least when the kidney stone comes out, it's over. That esophagus uh, took months and months. I, you know, was eating, you know, putting, they wanted to put a tube directly into my stomach um, to bypass me eating. 
because the pain was so horrific. Yeah, nothing, nothing will ever touch, you know, this. It just won't. Nothing, nothing won't. It, it's, it, there, are, there aren't any words for the suffering that one endures going through this because it is so freaking long. It's so freaking long that it's, it's just insane that someone can, can survive through that amount of pain and torture for this long. But we do. A lot of us do. Many of us don't. You know, we've lost at least three people, maybe, maybe four people. Yeah, actually, there was just a, another, another beautiful girl. Um, y you know, to this because it, some people just can't handle handle the pain. And you know what? I don't, I don't have any ill will towards anyone who decides that enough is enough and they can't do this anymore. I get it and I understand it. And you know, I don't. I don't even classify those as suicides, you know. I look at those people, they chose a death with dignity. They chose to end their suffering in a humane way, and I have no judgment towards anyone who says that they can't do this anymore. It, it's 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 horrible and I'm so sorry that this happened to them and it, it it's, there aren't words to put on this. There aren't, you know, there, there really isn't. And every person who we've lost that I don't even know personally, when I know that it's related to this, it gets me every time because we know their pain and we feel their pain. And we know the thought process that was behind that moment that took them to end their lives. Because we've all been there. And we've all felt it. So, I guess the bottom line is, what have I learned in benzodiazepine withdrawal syndrome? I have learned <laughs> that I am one badass bitch. <laughs> we all are badass badass warriors, every single one of us, even the ones that didn't make it to the end of this journey, they did make it to the end. No matter what they had to do to make this stop for them, they did what was best for them. And we are all warriors, no matter what the outcome is of this. We are all strong and we are all fighters. And we deserve, we deserve the title. We deserve the title of benzodiazepine warriors because we are warriors. We have been to war, we have fought on the front lines, and we are back thrown into society with no outlets, no support, with nothing but the clothes on our back after all of this is done. And we are forced to reintegrate in society in a world that we haven't navigated in or have been afraid to navigate in for years. And there is no support for us except for the friends and the people we have met online all over the world that have been going through this with us. There needs to be more programs for this because the opioid epidemic Yes, it's important, but <laughs> this is shattering people's lives for years. Not street addicts, not drug seekers. These are people who took prescribed medications and their lives were ruined because of it. So if you could just share this video with one person, just one person to help get the word out and maybe stop someone from taking this medication and altering their entire life, that would be amazing. Amazing. Because if you can spare one person from this, you could save a life. Is it worth saving a life? I think that it is.